What's good? It's your boy Dre Black, and we're back with another Call of Duty Cold War reaction video, man. In today's video, we're gonna be watching the season one deep dive. This video is gonna be about what's gonna be in the season one of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. We get to learn all about the actual first season. That's right. So if you've been playing Call of Duty Cold War, everything you've been doing so far is not even season one yet. That's just like season zero, bro. So season one is about to pop up any day now. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this. Before we even get started, if you're new, Please, please, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think we need like 20 something subscribers to get at 1,000. We can do it before this year is over with. I just need y'all's help. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the like button because when you guys hit that like button, it helps my video get out there to new, to new uh, people and new viewers. So make sure you do that as well. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video this week black ops cold war will invade warzone with season one storming onto consoles and pc players will get free content throughout the season including eight free maps across black ops cold war multiplayer three free to acquire weapons a new battle pass system and more okay today members of the treyarch and raven development teams provided a bit more insight into what's in store for the so we get some new maps some new guns Wait, what do you say? Do you say guns or gun skins? Let's go back. Members of the Treyarch and Raven develop a new battle pass system, Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Three, free to acquire weapons, a new battle pass system. Free to acquire weapons. So I'm guessing we get three weapons and a new battle pass. Okay, let's let's check these weapons out, man. And more. Today, members of the Treyarch and Raven development teams provided a bit more insight into what's in store. For the full length studio broadcast, check out Treyarch's YouTube channel. For the highlights, stay tuned because right now. Yeah, that's why I chose to watch this video. The other video he's talking about, it was like 30 something minutes long. And I was like, uh, I think I watched a six minute highlight video. Like, We're dropping into Rebirth Island with Raven senior executive producer, Ryan Burnett to learn more about Warzone's new map. When we thought of Rebirth Island, we wanted to look back into the Black Ops lore and really dig deep into where did the Nova 6 gas originate from? Players will experience uh, open area and open island uh, where they'll be able to roam around the map. And in there, in the center of this island, is the actual bioweapons facility. Season one, also. And that's where the Nova 6 gas came from? That's crazy. Marks the arrival of three new operators. Out of the gate, starting the week of launch, players will get to know Stitch. Discarded Stitch. by the Soviets, he's a former bioweapons expert hellbent on revenge. With new play spaces and operators in the mix, you'll need some additional tools in the toolbox. Expect a huge addition to your Warzone armory, as a vast infusion of Cold War weaponry becomes available for you to use in your loadouts. Unless a weapon has a particular challenge needed to unlock it, Black Ops Cold War primary and secondary weapons, including blueprint variants, will now be accessible in Warzone. Here's Treyarch's Tony Flame to share more about... So that's right. Warzone is kind of going to be the same as it was before, but now you're going to be using uh, Black Ops Cold War guns. So. The two new weapons players can expect at launch, along with a brand new score streak. Let's start with the Groza Assault Rifle. From a gameplay perspective, uh, it's a bullpup, which means it's going to be a little bit quicker on the draw. You're going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker. You'll be coming out of sprint a little bit faster. And it's a lot of fun. It's very unique visually. On the flip side, to switch to the MAC-10, you've got a traditional Black Ops favorite here in the MAC-10. It's an incredible SMG. It's got the fastest fire rate of all the SMGs. It's kind of a bullet hose, but it's a ton of fun to use. This is the score streak, the Harp, the high altitude recon plane. You call it in, and it's going to tell you where all the enemies are. Oh, so the Harp shows both enemy position and direction on the mini-map. This is kind of like a... Um, not an advanced UA, it kind of like an advanced UAV. It used to be called something different on Black Ops 1. I forgot what it was called. Comment down below if you remember what it was called on Black Ops 1. Uh, it was like a UAV, but it showed you the direction the enemies were going to. I don't want to say VTOL. I don't think it was a VTOL. But uh, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. It's going to show the direction they're facing. There's no counter for it because it's a high level score streak, uh, other than to shoot it down. Things don't quite go your way in Warzone. You'll get the chance for another go, but this time with two new Gulag experiences. 
the Rebirth Island is all about uh, the prisoners, right? So as you go down the hallways, the metal detectors go off, alert your enemy, let you know where you're at. So we're adding a little twist there to your 1v1. Shifting gears to Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, the launch of Season 1 also ushers in the arrival of eight maps, mixing up a range of 6v6, 2v2, and fireteam experiences. Here, for the rundown, is Treyarch's Matt Schrantz. We've got a new 6v6 map, The Pines, and an 80s mall. So we've got all the 80s mall fanfare. Raid is returning, plays really well in every game mode. The team has spent a lot of time I remember this map. on making sure that Raid plays. This is that, bro, we used to have fun on this map, bro. We used to have a lot of fun. I don't remember which Black Ops this map came from, but uh, I, I want to say Black Ops I might be wrong. It might be Black Ops 2. I might be wrong though. Com comment down below which Black Ops this map was originally like created for, if you know. Like it played in Black Ops 2. We'll have U-Bahn. It's actually under the Berlin Wall in an underground tunnel. We also have ICBM, which I believe is actually our smallest gunfight map. It's located in a launch facility. We've got KGB, which is located in a Soviet financial building. Uh, we've got Game Show, and this is just a, it's just a fun map. It is set on a, on a game show stage. Nuketown Holiday, we've got trees, we've got reefs, we've got snowmen. Looking ahead to some other things mid-season, looks like the team's got some plans for something called Sanatorium. Sanatorium is located in Russia. It's our biggest fire team map to date. We find that it lets you spread your wings a little bit further. With Newtown 84 now in the mix, Treyarch delivers on the nostalgia with a holiday themed version of the Black Ops cult classic. It was just it was just a fun thing when we were stringing up the lights and kind of brainstorming what we could do is it felt very different, it feels it feels really cool. The holiday spirit isn't just limited to Nuketown. Uh -oh. It turns out that the undead get a whole lot undeader in D Machina, with Treyarch turning the map into more of a winter wasteland than a wonderland. This season, there's plenty of cheer to keep you in the Yuletide mood. Okay. Uh, we are adding a new limited time mode called Jingle Hells, uh, which is a retheming of D Machina for the holidays. Players will now use snowballs scattered across the map to freeze zombies and drop presents. And inside those presents, you'll get all sorts of things ranging from coal to ray guns. In addition to okay. in-game intel. So you got like a holiday themed zombie mode. That ain't bad, that's cool. That's cool. It's whatever, it's optional, you know, so. Well, in the introduction of the new battle pass weapons and customization content in zombies, the undead also get new play spaces for Onslaught on PlayStation. Throughout the seasons, as we add these multiplayer maps, they will be added to Onslaught as well. So you'll be finding new opportunities to earn chalices take on as many megatons as you can to earn rewards. Later this season, in addition to the Pines, we'll be adding Raid as well. Additionally, fans can expect the new Crank mode for the first time ever in Zombies, coming mid-season, plus much more to come for Zombies in Season 2. Okay, so mid-season 1, it's going to be a game mode for Zombies called Crank. We got to remember that. Mid-season 1. They haven't talked too much about it, but Crank, we got to remember to see what that is about. So you have a timer of 30 seconds that's ticking down, when you zero, you die. Um, every time you kill a zombie, that timer resets. It's even more frantic in four player when you're juggling between all these different zombies, trying to make sure everyone stays alive. When season one launches, remember that the cross progression system that links player progression, prestige levels, and the battle pass between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone becomes available in season one. That's right. When Season 1 drops, expect your Season level to be synchronized based on your current Season level in Black Ops Cold War. Your previous unlocks from Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, such as weapons, perks, score streaks, and more, will remain unlocked. For all the details about Season 1 and what's in store, head to callofduty.com to learn more. So I think what he just said is everything that you've unlocked uh, when it comes to Warzone should still be there. I believe that's what he just said. Matter of fact, I'm going to rewind that part and, and, and listen more carefully. That's right. It was before he said that's right. The cross progression system that links player progression, prestige levels, and the battle pass between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone becomes available in Season 1. That's right. When okay, so that's for Warzone. Warzone. Okay, yeah. So your war Warzone progress should be the same. For all the details about Season 1 and what's in store, head to callofduty.com to learn more. Okay.
free content update December 16th, this Wednesday. Okay, okay, okay. So, more info, go to callofduty.com. Uh, hopefully, you guys like that video, man. Uh, I'm excited. I need to get back into Warzone. Um, <laughs> I want to see if Warzone on Cold War... I haven't played Warzone on Black Ops Cold War yet. But in Season 1, I want to see, does it feel like Black Ops? You know what I'm saying? If it does feel like Black Ops, I'm definitely going to get into it. Uh, I've been streaming. I'm not going to say every day, but I stream a lot on Twitch. So if you do not have a Twitch account, make you a Twitch account. Come over to Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Dre Black Gaming. My link is in the description of this video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers. I would appreciate if you hit the like button as well, because when you do that, more people can find this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm a small creator and I need all the help I can get. And you guys are the help. That's it for this video. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you comment down below all those things I asked you to comment because I really do want to know. Honestly, I always get my information from y'all. So yeah, catch you in the next one. Peace.